Hello and welcome back to Mix Mix, the tournament in which we play a different one of the mix, or we generate a kingdom using a different one of the mixes for each game in the match. So it's a four game match and we will have one, uh, one game per match with uh, I'm doing a terrible job of explaining this. We, for each game in the match, we will use a different mix. So for the first game, we are doing Prosperity. I am playing against Snow Busy or Snow BZ. I think Snow we'll go with Snow Busy. I have not played before. So our trashing options here are Treasurer and Alter, um, draw is just encampment and activated cities, and plenty of plus buy, plenty of payload. There's there's groundskeeper, there's grand market, uh, there's charm, like so. I need to do, but it's going to be hard hard to draw. So we're going to really want to going to want to thin, and the thinning is expensive. So we probably do want to get some silvers off the lucky coin, so we can hit five or maybe even six. Um, I'm not keen on fool. I do think getting an encampment would be good. Could open. Double encampment with one silver, or we could open silver uh, one encampment and two silvers. I think two silvers is what I want to do here. There's really not anything. I mean, I guess I could take a plaza. The coffer like could help us spike six if we hit it at the right time. Um. But I think I'm just going to take another silver. Ah, damn it. <laughs> okay. Um, so here, I think we either take plaza or we take pilgrimage. We should definitely hit five next turn, if not six. If we do hit six, I think I'm going to take the altar first. Um, but yeah, pilgrimage... Or plaza. Like, obviously, we don't have any terminals right now. It's going to be a long time before pilgrimage is relevant. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to take the plaza right now. Okay, so we don't hit six. That really sucks. <laughs> we hit four and then five rather than four and six or five and five. Because we bottom decked the encampment and the other silver. Pretty obnoxious. But I will take a treasure. I want to get thinning. Alright, um, I don't want to take more silver, so I think I'm just going to grab another encampment. So if we draw treasure here, we can buy altar. If we don't... And we're sad. Okay, cool. Wait, we have to not discard? No, it doesn't matter. What am I talking about? Okay, cool, cool. So, 
I think we want a second treasure. Did my opponent get a gold? Sky's gift? Oh. Okay. Um Yeah, so let's get a second treasure. We could go ahead and take a city. We could. Take another plaza. Like, we have to anticipate that the encampment pile is eventually going to run. City right now, definitely not as good as plaza, but I think I'm going to take one while I have the, the money to anyway. I don't expect my opponent to be able to keep all of the encampments that they currently have. Um, all right, I think I want to trash the lucky coin more so than I want to trash a copper. So I'll discard the copper. We want to fire off the encampment. We want to buy anything other than an encampment. We kind of need to, but maybe just buying an encampment is fine. Although we're not going to get a gold into the shuffle anyway. So yeah, I think I will fire off the encampment. On the other hand, if I buy a grand market here, no, no, I could not. Um, I could take another altar. I think I'll do that actually. Oh, both of my estates and no altar. Come on. I guess my opponent only has two encampments. I was thinking they had three for some reason. Should we just take another city here? I think so. I guess we're probably grabbing encampment this turn. Three treasures. That's a lot of treasures. We gotta be trash in a state. Okay. Um I think I'm just gonna take another city and then an encampment. There is an argument for Dipping into groundskeepers a bit, but all right, we could probably get a grand market this turn, maybe. I don't know if we're going to be able to play both of these altars, so we'll see what we draw. Okay, encampments being returned. That's nice. I guess we can always pull a card out of the trash with treasure to trash at the altar if we want to. Um, there's no reason to discard. Play this encampment. Sure. Let's see if we can find more stuff to trash. Okay. So we can't we could buy a grand market if we pull the lucky coin out of the trash and play it and still trash both of these coppers. Um I 
think that's fine at this point. I'm just going to take two more cities. We're getting to the point where we can just empty the city pile ourselves. Here, trash copper, take another city, I guess. So once again, we <laughs> like don't really pair up our uh, altars with the states. And I guess we can continue to feed the altar with treasure, which is nice. There's no way we can empty cities without playing this one. Oh. We could if we trashed our treasure. I don't really think that's worth it. Wait, no. We can do this. Alter trash estate into city. Treasure, take copper, alter, trash copper into city, draw, take the key, buy a grand market. We have a lot of activated cities now. All right, so now piles are actually not that low. Peddlers haven't been touched. So I think there is time for groundskeeper. Um, is that what we want to gain with our altars? Probably. Encampments, honestly, maybe just not relevant, actually, as it turns out. So, yeah, let's grab a groundskeeper. Um, so... How much of this silver do we actually want? Okay, we're gonna take the key. Might as well do that. Um, we can do that. And then... I guess I wanna get rid of the lucky coin, probably. Turn that into a groundskeeper. Market. It's in the trash. So I mean, we have we have like a lot of draw. Five, six, seven, eight cities. Like I'm wondering if I should pull the lucky coin back out and play it or not. I think I don't think I need to. So we can buy double grand market and a peddler. Also take a pilgrimage, but I don't think I need that right now. And then this turn we gain two more groundskeepers and we probably start adding some green into our deck. We could even consider like altering into duchy and then Retrashing the duchy or something like that. Well, might as well gain the two groundskeepers first and then the following turn or something. I mean, the piles are lower now. There's only three grand markets left, but. My draw situation should just be way better than my opponent's. Q 
kind of goes back. That doesn't really matter. All right. We can't mid-turn activate our city because we can't gain Grand Markets mid-turn. We could, actually, if we had Canal. Hmm. I should have thought about that. Well, I didn't. All right. Um, so we can alter silver, groundskeeper, alter silver and the groundskeeper. Play all those. We might as well take the silvers back. We've got terminal space enough for it, or not terminal, uh, draw, whatever. So we can take the last two grand markets, we can take canal. Well, maybe it doesn't make sense to take the last two grand markets. Uh, I buys. I, wish I, sh I should probably take a province. If I take Canal first, that leaves me with 15. Province costs another 7. That leaves me... Yeah, Canal... Canal Province is 14. Grand Market is 19. Maybe also grab an estate. Canal, Grand Market, Province estate and peddler that should or just grab the two grand markets that's 10 7 17 and 7 is 24 that might be cutting it a little close though so i think i think we take one grand market um So canal, province, grand market, or state. And then this turn we should probably have a pile out of some kind. We have an extra buy. We have extra gains off of Alter. Maybe if I hadn't altered into Groundskeepers, I had a pile out right there, but eh, whatever. My opponent can empty Grand Markets and activate my cities, or I can do it myself. Either way, I get extra gains. I think it's, this is pretty over. Well, not this city. All right, now we can do it. Alter, trash, silver into grand market. I guess probably shouldn't discard just in case. I don't think it's very likely that I fail to draw, but I guess the possibility did exist, surprisingly enough. Okay, so how are we piling out? Uh, we have 11 buys. We can pile in peddlers, so it doesn't matter. It does not matter one little bit. Trash that into uh, Duchy. Uh, how many provinces could I actually take here? 
Not quite all of them. Doing math is too hard, so best not to have to do it. Yeah, well, I think, yeah, the double altar emptied cities faster than I was expecting. I didn't really expect that, that the city thing would be quite that robust, but it was. Oh, whoops, that's not what I need. Here we go. All right, Dark Ages this time. I think last time I was failing to mention what we were getting in terms of selections. Hopefully I can remember this time to mention it. All right, I was player one. I need to be player two. And we are ready. So, what are our druid boons? Moons, rivers, and earths. Okay. Five two, huh? Looks like a count open to me. That's what it looks like. Count is the only trashing in any case. Then what's the deck look like? like the only draw is Diplomat. Ew. It's gonna be hard to activate. Not impossible, I guess, but do I want a lurker? I mean, I guess I probably do. Like, I probably do want lurkers in my deck. Taking one now, probably a good idea. Like, especially if it's an uncontested lurker. As it currently is. Could take the second lurker here. I think that's probably fine. Oh, no. All right, I'm going to go ahead and grab a Diplomat. Um, <laughs> okay, so we can activate the Diplomat. I guess we're going to grab a Bandit Camp with these Lurkers. That was pretty that was a pretty disastrous count right there overall. What the heck? Druid, huh? I think this is just gonna be another bandit camp. Do I want a druid. I don't think I want another lurker. Druid is the only source of plus buy, but I don't know that I'm really going to be using plus buy here. Earth's Gift is a little dubious. That we can take much advantage of that. This is going to be a deck that ends up choking in green as time goes on, and is not going to do anything for us in that situation. And the only way to get rid of it is like you know the very imprecise trashing of count or buying an improve, neither of which I'm super keen on. So I think we don't want a druid. Oh, 
Okay. Um, we know our count is in those four cards. Then again, so are both of our lurkers. Hmm. And a bandit camp. Awkward. I think it makes sense to stop here by another diplomat. We just have to really hope we can draw one of those diplomats right here. Whew, okay. Let's have another bandit camp. Guess we're top decking a spoils. Oh, we're gonna draw it. Well, fine. Um, spend the spoils. Don't spend the spoils. I don't think I want to buy anything with it. <laughs> I think. So, and I'm probably not going to trash again with Count. I've trashed like nine cards with Count. So I think I have one starting card left. Uh, it might be, if it's my Hovel, then I can trash that by buying some green. I think I'm going to hang on to the spoils. Never mind, I have two coppers. Okay. Oh, right, because I gained a copper from trashing only once i think maybe i maybe it is my hovel that's that's gone um i can't figure it out all right gained a druid you have three druids that's a lot of druids that is a lot of druids. There can be no doubt about that. All right. Is there any reason that we would want a rogue? And do we want to trash two coppers here? We do just want to take another bandit camp. I think. I think we're taking another bandit camp. So we can trash two coppers. We do have to like do the discard top decker or I guess if we top decked if we discarded to the two coppers or discarded copper spoils we could buy a diplomat. That would be a good thing to gain. I do kind of want to trash the two coppers. So I think I'm going to just do this, that. And here we'll probably be buying province. Okay, I did get rid of my... bubble. It's good to know. There's nothing in the trash that we want. So I guess what we're doing. We can buy province and take a duchy too. Um I do want another diplomat. But should I be taking a duchy at this point? Maybe not. Maybe I just top deck this lurker. Well, maybe, maybe I should. I don't know. I know I have another diplomat in here, which means top decking a lurker means I can like lurk, lurk, and then activate the diplomat. So I like top decking a lurker. Um, the question is, do I want to take the duchy, which is basically like free or not? And that I don't know. We just take three coins and save some spoils. I think that's a reasonable approach. Save. 
taking duchy for now. Yeah, I'm going to take a diplomat with these lurkers. Many spoils. Okay, we have the option to top deck a card with the count in order to activate the diplomats, at least the first one. Actually, I guess maybe we had activate them both. Whatever. Um, seems like a reasonable thing to do. I'm going to trash to lurk. Don't really need to activate this one anyway. All right, well, that was for kill. I guess we actually could use a druid right now. It's just the odds that we draw it at the right time are not great. If we had a druid, like instead of a lurker or something, like we could have bought double province, but whatever. Painting coppers? Whoa, what? All right, I'm going to I'm going to risk it with this lurker, I think. Um I'm gonna trash. Diplomat, I guess. Uh, not important to activate this one. Cool. These two piles are quite low. All right, we still don't need to take Duchy, I don't think. I'm just going to keep buying province. All right, there go the diplomats. So we should start... Using like lurker to trash lurker, I think. I mean, or druid, either way. You take a duchy? Oh no. It's not looking too hot for my opponent. Making two provinces miss the shuffle, probably a good idea. Yeah, we'll use lurker to trash. I mean, we could trash the bandit camp, I guess. doesn't really matter, and if we get to pick up the bandit camp so much, the better. Taking another lurker, that seems dubious. Yeah, let's just go ahead and grab the bandit camp. I don't really, I mean, I could go for the pilot. I don't really need to, though. My opponent is not applying very much pressure to me, so we have six provinces at this point. It's, it's not, in theory, over because there's like fairgrounds and farmland, but I don't think we're going to have too much trouble hitting province again the next two turns, honestly. 
we have six provinces in our deck, but even so, I think we're going to manage to make it. I mean, we've got six coins in hand right now. All we need to do is find a spoils or account, essentially. I guess trashing a druid doesn't hurt here, but... I don't really understand what my opponent is doing. Is Fairgrounds even worth that much? I wouldn't think so. Yeah, okay, that's what I kind of wanted. Let's trash a druid. Still push piles. Trash a lurker, whatever. And we can activate this Diplomat. And all we need to do is find a Spoilser account, and we win. Gains an estate, okay. That will do it. Eight provinces. <laughs> Alright, time to spin up another one. Dark Ages, by the way. This time we have Renaissance. Okay, so we definitely have trashing. We do have draw in the form of laboratory. Um, plus actions is just royal carriage. That's a little bit awkward. Um, Militia is going to hurt. There's capitalism. Okay, does that affect... That only affects militia and scrap and I guess junk... Oh, hey, we have a 5-2. Okay, we're going to open with a junk dealer. Um, then, do we want, do we want rat catcher? Do we want engineer? I don't, I don't think engineer is very good here. So probably rat catcher. Yeah. Well... We could take scrap. We could take silver. Um, I think... So the sources of plus buy are scrap and ranger. Playing rangers is going to be tricky. It's going to require royal carriage. Um, playing scrap, is that any less tricky? If you're, like, continuously scrapping silver for, like, you know, what would it be, like, action, buy silver, something like that. It's pretty, pretty annoying, too. I think I'm gonna, I think I slightly prefer silver right now. Like, I want to hit five a bunch, and... Probably going to lean towards Ranger for plus buy purposes if that ends up even really being much of a thing. We should also consider whether we're going to want Tmog at some point, I guess, like for province milling purposes, if nothing else. Okay, so we can call a rat catcher to trash the estate. But then we don't hit five. And I want to hit five. Or do I? I could just take a militia. Hmm. 
Yeah. Okay. Let's let's call the rat catcher. Somehow we didn't get attacked here. Must have bottom decked their militia. It's pretty sad. Whoa. Should I buy crop rotation? I probably should. I mean, we're going to get rid of those estates pretty fast, but at some point we're going to be greening. And in the meantime, you know, maybe we'll keep Anna State around. Crop rotation is pretty, pretty dang good. Alright, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and call the rat catcher on that estate. Maybe that was a mistake. Maybe I was meant to trash it with junk dealer so I could hit five. But, um, could get a T-Mog. I think I like having one T-Mog. All right, now we're gonna get a laboratory. Interestingly, we could T-Mog the Militia into another laboratory, but I like being able to attack anyway. So I think this is another lab. And I think we might as well call Red Catcher on a copper here. Okay, so we need some money and or some plus buy. So let's figure that out. Um... We need a royal carriage if we want terminal, more terminal space. We could, what we could do is buy engineer, TMOG, if we draw it, militia into royal carriage, and then use engineer to regain the militia. Um, and that has the advantage that we don't have to... Yeah, I think... I think I'm gonna do that. We don't have to, like, spend a turn like where we have... There it is. Where we have, like, the royal carriage but don't have any, like, purpose for it. Um, yeah, I guess, well, I'll draw either way if I, but I get to trash the copper. Yeah, whatever. Let's trash the copper. Engineer gains a militia. I think we go ahead and trash and gain a ranger. We could we could take a scrap instead, but I think it's going to be easier if we do that. Uh, 
Um, do we actually want to play this rat catcher? If we don't play it, because there's nothing we're going to trash with it. We can T-Mog it later to like a silver, which isn't super exciting, but is something. I will not play it. I don't know that I'm going to want to T-Mog it, but... All right, I'm going to get another go carriage, I think. Well, I could, I mean, I guess I could take another engineer. Yeah, let's get another engineer. We're not going to immediately need the ranger. Maybe I should have kept the engineer. But, oh, well. Rather than popping it for the ranger, probably should have. We didn't start with our estate in hand. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay, so, oh. All right, I mean, I do think I was ahead, but after how long Snowzy played out the previous games, I am surprised. They bailed on that one. Did not I did not think that one was nearly as over as some of the other ones had gotten to. Alright, well, last one is Hinterlands. And I am player two. All right, so here we have in and lackeys as our plus actions. Monastery looks to be the only, I mean, I guess traitor, but crashing. We have five two, huh? Hmm. Build. Um, in an embassy is not net draw. The only net draw is like the last terminal that you play or you use villagers. I think I want to get monastery embassy. To start with here, the silver doesn't go into my opponent's shuffle, which is nice. There's no plus buy, is there? No, there's artificer, but it's going to be hard to build hand size. So I think this is going to be a pretty, oh God. Straightforward board. Oh wait, that is that is a bad hand. That is a really bad hand. Holy crap. Okay. Um We don't have any actions to shuffle in within. Buying a Sempkin embassy isn't ridiculous. It's not great. Like there's no, and I guess Artificer can gain lackeys, which is pretty good. Maybe I should take an Artificer, even though I'm probably gonna draw it dead. All right. That was a heinous first shuffle. Yeah. 
as expected. Could discard two coppers by a lackeys and then get Basilica points and trash an estate. I think that's probably the way to go. Um, yeah, we can kind of do the same thing here. Do that. Do this. Do that. More Basilica points. It's too bad. I can use that to get some trashing in with Monastery. Oh well. All right, um, how many villagers are we willing to use here? I don't know. Mostly I just want to find my artificer. Found it. Um, we have seven. We play this lackeys. We discard like three coppers and we play the lackeys. We will draw, we'll top deck some coppers and that'll be unfortunate. We want to just buy the last lackeys. If we want to buy the last lackeys, we can just go one, two, three. Still get the Basilica points. I guess that is probably what we want to do. It's pretty awkward. Like, it's too many lackeys, but I guess we can start trashing some of them at some point with Monastery. We're going to need some more money in our deck. I was just wondering about having Trader turn some of these lackeys into silvers. Yeah, I mean, or we can start putting ends into our deck. It's it's pretty, like, I don't know. This is all going to be very awkward. That that much is for sure. I do kind of think a trader would actually makes some sense as a way to add some payload quickly. Let's see if we can find our artificer. We discard three coppers. And discard the other Oh no, that's gonna that's not gonna work, is it? Uh we top deck it. We can't actually draw it without top decking a whole bunch of copper. Uh Right. This card is another lackeys. So actually, we go like 
that. Do. Mm. Draw a card, we have seven coppers in a monastery. No, six coppers in a black keys in a monastery. Uh pfft. this is so awkward. Draw that. I was thinking about discarding to gain in. But then we can't really buy anything. So like, why not just buy the inn? Save the villager. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Even though it feels kind of crap. Still want to see if I can gain a trader in a way that doesn't cause me excessive awkwardness. Discard one lackey? I guess we could discard the monastery. Okay, we could just stop here and buy either an artifice or a trader. Or an in. It's so awkward. It's so awkward. <laughs> I guess I'll take the in. I I don't know. This is probably not correct, but I'm really not sure how to play this. Silver, huh? Okay. I was trying to figure out a way to get anyway. Well, we might as well start with the inn. Do that. 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 Okay, so if we... An artificer... Discard... One, two, three, four. Do that. Trade of the silver into silvers? I mean, 
mean, that sort of works. Now we have some silver in our deck. And we should probably try to get some battlefield points. Oh, there go all your villagers. So with with the ends, like there's the potential here for enough sifting that we can just like plow through green cards. And that's kind of what I'm I'm thinking about right now. Okay, we can just buy a province. I think I will do that. Get to trash a copper too. So that's nice. This is not as nice. But we do have some villagers left. We also have the embassy. The point is, like, we have some sifting. Um, we'd probably use some more. Okay, I like to see duchy. It's good. Play one more luckies. Now let's play Embassy. One, two, three. And Trader this lackeys. We are going to be down to one villager, which is not great, but. Get rid of some more coppers. I don't really need inns with no <laughs> lackeys or embassy, you know? So yeah, I'm pretty sure I played this board very incorrectly, but I mean, we wanted to get the Basilica points for sure. Ugh, gross. Maybe I should have played Artificer first. Probably should have. Thinking I might want to use it, but... Hmm. I think I do want to draw, but it's pretty unfortunate. Well, we can't use Artificer gain like an estate and still buy province. But maybe. Maybe that's okay. I want to get the last battlefield points is the upshot here. And I think I think it's worth going the state duchy to do that probably. Although actually we could also draw the yeah, you know what? We can draw the state off the top. That helps. I do not want a duchess. Here, I think we just play Embassy and hope best. 
All right, we did not get the best. I think, are we, are we willing to spend our last villager? I'm leaning towards no. Wait, we should do it like this. No, we should do it like this. Discard that. Grab an in. Those back in. Asher Copper. So we're up by a little bit more than two provinces. We got the VP chips advantage. We have more payload in our deck, I think. So our opponent does have an extra embassy, but I think overall we're in good shape. Uh, I think we can discard the copper. Okay, we know we have two inns down there. I'm going to stop here and just buy the province. Very lucky maybe we'll get to trash the state here. Has our opponent trashed all their estates? They have. Like, looking at all these cards in play, I'm like, wow, my opponent is drawing so well. And then I look at their hand size, I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> That's how this board works. I'm not sure Duchess is better than Copper here, honestly. Like, eh. Wait a minute. Eh, nah, it's fine. We play Artificer first. We play Artificer first. We're not going to gain anything with Artificer. Let's be real. Uh, yeah, I think we just ditch the traitor. Got it. Hang on to that last villager for dear life. Well, this could be a good time to use it because then we don't have to put the cards that we discard within back into the shuffle. On the other hand, we have an in, which is more than we might be able to say on a future turn. So I think I will play the in first, despite the fact that we'll have to potentially shuffle in some bad cards. I don't understand why you want to buy all these duchies. Right, I think we're at the point where we just discard the monastery. Oh, we did not make it. So I guess we're playing the artificer. I mean, yeah, yeah it's got to be correct. And traitor the lackeys, probably. Probably. Oh boy. Keep that. Now, if hmm. 
My win condition is mostly just to finish out the provinces. So, like, buying a duchy, meh. I think we could buy an inn or an embassy. I'm not sure which is better. I think it's actually embassy right now. So, I'm going to go with that. I guess part of the reason my opponent is buying duchies is because their deck is probably not very capable of buying provinces. They have one to my five. Get that out of here. Um, I think we just discard a lackeys. Do it again. Yeah. The odds that we don't find another silver in the next five cards have got to be quite low, and indeed found more silver than we needed. Are we at half AP at this point? This is 12. I would get them to 43. I think we are at half EP. Which means we just buy like silver. Better. Six gets them to 40. 43. 50. Yeah. Maybe they realized as well. I feel kind of bad leading with the GGs when I swept. All right, good. Yeah, um, that was, that board, um, I don't, I don't think I played it particularly well. I think it was, like, I don't know. I mean, you do want the lackeys, you do want the artificers to get the lackeys, well, artificer singular is what I had, but I don't know, it, it maybe... I did have a 5-2, which pushed me towards Monastery. I could see the argument against Monastery in retrospect. Spinning Copper is not that important, probably, on that board. Like, just getting a trader and turning estates into silvers, and then, like, you make it less likely that your draw cards collide and that you need to spend villagers. Um, like, I don't know. But... You want the Basilica points, which also pushes you in the direction of not, like, just buying a couple embassies and provincing. Um, although there's Battlefield as well, so that's a consideration. But, um, yeah, I mean, 20 turns is a lot. And granted, I, had, I did buy six provinces, like, so, like, if my opponent had been building a deck that went for provinces, the game probably would have been faster because the provinces would have run. But um, 20 turns is still a lot, so I suspect... That you know there was significant inefficiency. It's I don't know you know like I took when I took was taking those ins. It felt like I was kind of spinning my wheels like, and that was part of the reason you know that I'm like thinking yeah I don't know if my approach here was was that good. But either which way I did get the W and sweep the match, which is good. Um, so I'm now five and three because I lost three one to Rust two. So in a reasonable spot, although presumably. I mean, I think it's pretty likely, given that I lost to Russ, that they will um, be in the top slot. The way this is going to work is, like, the way some of the other mixes have worked where, you know, you have first through fourth and the first place person goes to the first place 
player's bracket and the second place player goes to the second place player's bracket and so on and probably looking looking at the second place bracket most likely at this point but we shall see either way thanks for watching and i will be uh back you know either with some more league or the conclusion of the pools match for this next time so until then